happy 40th anniversary. Four decades of fighting on the front lines for equal justice under law. Whether it's been desegregation, women's reproductive freedoms, marriage equality, the legal process of our country has always depended on a judiciary that is fair, and for 40 years, that's what the Alliance for Justice stood for. Your work is more important than ever. I think without Alliance for Justice, a lot of us would still be struggling to find an attorney who could give us the tools we needed to be successful. Um, AFJ has basically built the progressive community in this country. One of the things I think of in a 40-year history is all the people that the Alliance probably has helped to, to be on the federal bench, and of course, all the people that the Alliance has protected us from. What Alliance for Justice does is educate people, educate the groups, educate the senators about the records of these nominees. There's a direct line between AFJ's work in the Clarence Thomas hearings and what they were able to do in the Brett Kavanaugh fight. AFJ's work on the Gorsuch and Kavanaugh nominations was extraordinary, putting workers' rights front and center. You have to have the long view on so many battles, but particularly when it comes to the federal judiciary. So the work that's being done today, it's laying the groundwork for the future. When you think of all the organizations, this is the one that everybody thinks of when it comes to protecting the federal courts. And really, what can be more important? There are three co-equal branches of government, co-equal. And if we lose this as an independent branch, we've lost, we've lost the whole structure of our democracy. Mm, 40 years ago, wow. 40 years ago, I was on my way to high school. <laughs> I had just done my first major trip to Europe. I was two years old. My brother had just been born, and my understanding from my parents is that um, I was not happy about it. At that time, I was a federal prosecutor. I was an assistant U.S. attorney uh, in the Eastern District of New York in Brooklyn. Forty years ago, I was supporting striking janitors at my university at Brown and uh, never gave up. <laughs> You know the far right's bucket list. Overturn Roe versus Wade. Rip health care away from tens of millions of Americans. But we're not going back. And Alliance for Justice has been there to raise the alarm. There are many things they actually want to turn our clock back on. And what the Alliance for Justice has done is to dig deep so they can't keep it a secret. The times demand a sense of urgency Everything that we as a sector have worked for for, for decades is uh, now being undone and reversed. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Things are really rough in the judicial fight. We are losing a lot of battles, but if it weren't for AFJ, things would be a lot worse. And because of AFJ, I know they're gonna get better. Alliance for Justice's work is essential in making sure that we have a judiciary that is capable of administering justice fairly and reflecting the diversity of this country. It's our job to demand the federal bench not be filled with partisan hacks, but with moderate, well-qualified, and diverse judges. But I'm confident with the Alliance for Justice leading the way, we will continue that fight and we will win. Without AFJ, I think that many of us would find ourselves in jail. <laughs> Back in 1993, 94, when I was being considered, I reached out to people and I said, you know, there, there just aren't a lot of women on our bench and I need support. And this friend said, I can, I know exactly who to call. I'm gonna call the Alliance for Justice. I'm gonna call Nan Aaron, the head of the Alliance for Justice. And I think they're going to wanna to support you. Some, you know, um, small groups, maybe in a place like in Tennessee or in Florida or Georgia, they don't know what they can and can't do. And having the Alliance on a phone call away has just been really, um, I think, transformational for them. I decided I wanted to start my own nonprofit. And at the time, I knew nothing about what it would take to do this. A friend of mine said, well, you should call the Alliance for Justice. They immediately got back to me and said, this is what you need to do. And we were off to the races. I know how hard it is when you're a young, struggling organizer or organization to find the kind of legal support that you need. And that's what the Alliance for Justice does for so many people, so many organizations. 
And honestly, there's never been a more important time. It's, it's easy to become sort of content and, um, and, and feel a sense of reward around what we're doing. So we need someone to kind of tap us and remind us, no, there's more that you could be doing. There's more that you should be doing. And I think the Alliance for Justice is that type of partner. When we get close to elections, those issues arise about what we can do, what we should do, with respect to particularly some of the more troubling candidates for office, and that's where the Alliance's training and advice has been invaluable. They're able to translate very complicated information to a wide range of folks with almost no knowledge of legal and or financial issues and get them to the point where they can do this on their own. The challenge in front of us is a big one, but I know that Alliance for Justice will be leading the brigade with AFSME as a proud partner fighting shoulder to shoulder. It's just a tsunami of activists now. And everywhere I go, someone's starting a new group. <laughs> it's pretty wonderful. They need the support that the Alliance for Justice provides. I think we're at a turning point as a result of public education efforts by Alliance for Justice and a whole range of groups. We have got to stand with the AFJ because this fight will last for generations and the impacts of our actions now will last not only for my life, but for the, the lifetimes of my kids. I think the work that's done day to day, even in an era like this, where there are few victories, is just critically important to where we're gonna end up. I wanna give back and thank the Alliance for the many, many decades of service and how many progressive organizations and leaders you've gotten started. Thank you for all you do every day to ensure our democracy is sound. Thank you for persisting, and here's to another 40 years. My virtual toast to another 40 years. Congratulations on 40 years. Congratulations on 40 years of terrific, terrific work protecting the third branch of government, the branch that is so important in the lives of hundreds of millions of Americans.